Here is my bicolored angel. He's a beautiful fish. I've had him for about two years. Uh, he was in an aquarium which, for the most part, had these uh, green mushrooms. And about four months ago, I upgraded my tank, got a larger tank, and introduced uh, a whole bunch of new corals uh, to it. Um, you can see it's just starting out, but I have some SPS corals. Um, and in particular, I also have a Duncan coral. But the Duncan coral um, basically started to retreat and shrink back into its uh, skeleton about a week ago. And the reason I started this video with the bicolor angel is having done some reading and having observed a little bit, I think that my bicolor angel is nipping at the Duncan coral. And so what I did was uh, to help um, alleviate the stress, I bought one of these breeding nets um, and enclosed my Duncan coral. I moved it, first of all, from a lower part of the aquarium up to the top of the aquarium, and then enclosed it in this breeding net. Um, and you can see it a little bit. It's coming back out today. This is after a week of being uh, retracted. And the whole um, thing I'm testing for is whether or not it retracted because it kept getting nipped by the bicolor angel. And uh, today it's back out, which is good news. Uh, which might indicate that the reason that it did retract was because of my friend, um, my, bi my bicolor angel. And if so, I'm not sure what to do. Um, one of them has to go, I guess. Uh, either my angelfish is going to go or my Duncan coral is going to go. Uh, I don't think it's going to be my angelfish because uh, I do like him. It's beautiful. Um, but I'm going to see if uh, keeping the Duncan coral at the top of the aquarium, which is an area that the bicolor angel doesn't go to regularly, will help uh, with it being nipped on. And um, I'll wait to see. But anyway, wanted to share this with you if you um, were wondering. Uh, if there are ways to protect your corals, at least temporarily, uh, from a fish to assess if um, that is what's causing it stress. Uh, these containers um, are pretty handy. Uh, they're fairly small so you can localize uh, what it is that you're trying to isolate. Um, and uh, you know most fish can't really get through it unless they um, perform some complex maneuvers. Uh, so nine dollars I think it was at, uh, at PetSmart and probably available at a whole variety of um, local fish stores as well.